Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, Empowered by Magic Needles. This day I am here with a textured motif which is first worked in the round and then converted into a square piece. And this comes under the convertible crochet. Okay, and this is titled as Mola and it is worked with post stitches, mostly the back post stitches. So that we get the raised effect of the stitches here. I have worked this particular piece with leftover yarns from Aaron Hobby Store, Aaron Premium Acrylic Anti Pill yarn and a 5 mm clover crochet hook. So let's go into the video without any delay. Make a adjustable ring or a magic ring or the third option would be chain 4 join to the first uh, chain with a slip stitch and form a ring so whichever suits you now into this ring we need to place 16 half doubles so either chain 2 which is considered as first half double or yarn over directly make a half double here 1 2 3 4 5, 6 and 10 more. Completed 16 half doubles. Now it's time to slip stitch to the first half double or the second chain of first chain 2 and fasten off this color and get the second color. Join color B as you work the back post so insert the hook from behind the stitch and take it from front to the back pick up the second yarn yarn B and join now you may chain 3 as the first double 1 2 3 now place 2 back post double crochets in each stitch so from back to front on the next one two again <coughs> the next half double back post in the next uh, half double two back post double crochets so in each we are going to have two BPDCs made so this may be a little tricky and it will be tight also as we proceed the stitches will get set so complete the set totally we will have 32 BPDCs when we come back we finish the last BPDC on the very first stitch that we began completed placing 32 back post double crochets in total and now it's time to slip stitch to the third chain of the first three chain join and fasten of this color I should be back with the third color now join yarn C to any stitch here with the slip stitch place a single crochet in the very same stitch one single crochet in each stitch around so at the end we will be having 32 single crochets and at the end slip stitch to the first single crochet and fasten off so we shall complete and be back join color A to any of the 
single crochets as you would do for a bead back post so insert the hook from behind so let me take another stitch here this is a better one and bring it to the front and take the hook behind the post pick up the yarn pull through secure it chain 3 now two back post double crochets in the next single crochet one when you make your single crochets don't make them too tight because we are working back post double crochets we need some ease and in the next single crochet place one back post double crochet so it is two one two one two one continue in this manner So in this round we are increasing by one stitch, alternating two stitches we are converting into three. So again in the next one back post double crochet, in the next two, so two one two one two one keep continuing till the end I shall meet you at the end of this round here I have completed round 4 now after the end of round 4 I have 48 stitches in all it's time to slip stitch to the third chain of the first three chain and fasten off this color shall be back with the next color now join color D to any stitch here as a back post single crochet so let us back post slip stitch first and now place a back post single crochet in the same stitch now one BPSC in each of the stitches of the fourth round so at the end of this round we will have 48 BPSCs so back post SC insert the hook from behind to the front and again across the post of the DC take it back pick up the loop pull through and complete the single crochet so I shall make one or two more So complete round 5 with back post single crochets on each of the stitches. At the end of BPSC round slip stitch and join to the first single crochet and now place one double crochet in the same stitch or chain 3. I shall chain 3 1, 2, 3, one single crochet in each of the next 3 sorry one double crochet in each of the next three single crochets two double crochets in the next so repeat this one sing one double in each of the next three one each in each of the next three stitches and two doubles in the next repeat till the end I shall meet you at the end before placing my last stitch 
it's I have placed the stitches accordingly and in the very first stitch place my last double crochet so it becomes two here and now slip stitch to the third chain of the first three chains join and fasten off this color I shall be back with the next color now join color B to any of these uh, stitches here using back post singles back post slip stitch method now make a back post single crochet on the same stitch and one back post single crochet in each of the stitches all around So from back to front and to the back over the post of the last DC and complete the single crochet again back to front to back over the post of the DC pick up the yarn pull through to the back complete the single crochet so continue in this method all around by placing one back post single crochet in each of the stitches so at the end of BPSC round, I have slip stitched to the first single crochet BPSC and joined. Now chain 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Skip the next 5 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1 single crochet each in each of the next 10 stitches. Now chain 9 again, skip 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1 single crochet each in each of the next 10. This is the stitch repeat. So complete the round with this repeat pattern. Now slip stitch and join to the first chain. Chain 3 counts as 1 DC. 1, 2, 3 and 1 DC in each of the next 3 chains. Not over the chains but into the chains. Not in chain space. So 1, 2, and 3 so we have made 9 chains here so first 4 we need to place 1 double crochet each since we are beginning here we have made chain 3 now into the center DC that is the center chain that is the 5th chain place 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet this is the first corner two double crochet chain 2 and two double crochet so we are working into the chains and not in chain space now one double crochet each in each of the next chains three and four so this is the first corner made now one double crochet in each single crochet one in each so one double crochet each in each of the ten single crochets here and continue placing this corner stitch one uh, double crochet in first four chains and in the fifth chain place 
two doubles, chain two, two doubles and then one double in each of the next four chains, one in each and again one double crochet each in each of the SCs. So continue the round and complete. So we have come to the end of the round here. At the end of this round 9, slip stitch to the third chain of first three chain, join and fasten off this color. I shall be back with the next color for the next round. Now take color D and slip stitch and join to any stitch anywhere in the round because we are going to work only one round with this color. And now make a single crochet in the same stitch and one single crochet each in each of the next stitches till you reach the corner. One single crochet we are going to work with this color D. So we have reached the corner. In the corner place two single crochets, chain one and two single crochets. And again place one single crochet each on each of the stitches till you reach the corner. But after working the corner be sure that you pick up the stitch here. This generally gets hidden and we, we make the mistake of working from the second stitch. So we need to be careful to work the first stitch otherwise all our crochet mats will go wrong. So continue the round in this manner. I shall complete and get back. Completed the round with color D, the single crochet row. Now I shall be back with color C for the last round. Before that we need to slip stitch join and fasten off color D. <coughs> now it's time to join color C to any of the stitches the back post stitch way. So slip stitch and join like we do a back post and secure it. Now place A back post single crochet the same stitch one BP SC in the next I should not make it too loose not too tight So continue till you reach the corner. So place your black back post single crochets till the corner. I shall meet you at the corner. We have reached the corner. In corner chain one space, place three single crochets. And continue with BPSC on each of the single crochets till you reach the next corner. In the next corner again you place 3 singles. So continue the stitch pattern all around. When you come to the end of the round, slip stitch join to the first single crochet and fasten off this color. Come to the end of the round here. I had fastened off the yarn. Now it is time to slip stitch and join and hide the yarn. So I am going to do the invisible join. So not this stitch. So insert, insert in, into this. And behind both the loops. 
Now you may hide the yarn behind. This is how we have completed this particular motif. This motif has got all raised textured stitches and it's again a convertible stitch that we have done. We have made the circular motif and then converted into a square piece and this can be used as coasters. It can be used in other granny square uh, combination projects so on and so forth. Hope you like this Mola crocheted motif. I don't know why it is called Mola but the designer had uh, named it Mola. I don't know the name of the designer too. Okay. So wherever she is, whoever the person is, thanks to the designer. I like this and I wanted to share it with all my friends and hence I have made this video for this particular motif. Thank you friends for watching and if you happen to be the first time you are for our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. Do not uh, forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload every other day. Do like and share our videos too. Bye for now. Have a great day. I shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video.